Thank you. Mr. Thomas. We found a large growth in your larynx. It's almost certainly cancer. All right. Now, the good news is we have an excellent oncology department, so I'd like to arrange for a biopsy and a consultation it, so they can determine. It's OK. I'm not interested. Mr. Thomas, the sooner you begin treatment, the better your chances of survival. You don't understand. I'm, I'm ready to die. I know it's a lot of information, and it can seem overwhelming, but I... I said no. Can you tell me why you're so resistant to treatment? Because I've made it 56 years without molesting a child. And I can't stand it anymore. I'm sorry? I'm a pedophile. And I want to die. So what are we doing about Mr. Thomas? Sykes in there right now. As soon as they declare him incompetent, I'm going to call oncology down here to get started. Uh, incompetent? Who cares? The man is a pedophile, OK? If he wants to die, why don't we just let him? April, we're going to stop him from dying because he's our patient and because we can. Did you put him on a psych hold? Uh, I'm not ready to make that decision. Why? He's suicidal. He may want to die, but he is lucid and understands the consequences of his choices. He, he has a treatable condition. How lucid can he be if he's not letting us treat it? If he was depressed, you'd put him on a psych hold and try and treat his depression. You're not going to do the same for pedophilia? I just don't know that much about pedophilia. Well, you better find out fast, because he's dying. Dr. Halstead has a point. Is this man, this pedophile, really being rational? Funny enough, it sounds to me like he is. So we just have to stand by and watch him kill himself? Not treating your cancer is not the same thing as committing suicide. I mean, it's his decision. He's allowed to make it. More to the point, I think what he may be trying to do is looking for a way to escape his urges. By dying. Dr. Reese, have you ever seen a pedophile's PET scan? The prefrontal cortex and the putamen, they, they light up. There's a very good chance that pedophilia could be genetically hardwired into the brain. There's nothing he can do about it? Well, yes and no. I mean, the thinking is you can't change the hardware, but the software is another question. And it sounds to me like, like that's what Mr. Thomas has been trying to do. If you look at it from his perspective, the whole thing seems quite rational. Dr. Halstead. <laughs> Sats are down to 78. Did you eat this morning? He might be obstructed, laryngoscope of McGill's. Give him a sublingual nitro and an amp of glucagon. The food must have gotten trapped by your tumor and it's starting to block your airway. I need to break it up. Oh, please. What about his DNA? I'm not tubing him. I'm just clearing his airway. Mr. Thomas, I am legally obligated to do this. It'll only take a moment. Forceps. There. Got it. That's it, Mr. Thomas. Take a few deep breaths. Deep breaths. God damn. Why would you people just let me die? Well, no one's any tumors or signs of stroke. Robert Haywood, is he one of your prison patients? No, why? He's a criminal, right? Not that I know of. Decreased activity in the lower frontal lobe. Significant reductions in the orbital prefrontal cortex, which is the regulator of morality and aggression. Oh, psychopath. Well, in my opinion, the best thing you can do for this patient is put a pillow over his head. How's he doing? Not great. His larynx is still partially obstructed, and now I need ENT to come clear it out completely. Are you put him on a hold? Dr. Charles believes he is rational. We can't. So that's that. 
Or we just let him die? Not necessarily, since he is rational. Maybe we can reason with him. Fine. As soon as he's cleaned up. Why are you fighting so hard for this guy? Because it's not my job to judge him. How you feeling? Just let me go. Mr. Thomas, I can't begin to imagine what your life is like. But one thing I know is that it can't get better unless you let me help you. Now, I've talked to the oncologist. Enough! And we have a real chance at getting you into remission. Please, just take a few minutes to at least consider it. Mr. Thomas, can I ask you a question? You have a job, right? Co-workers, do you get along with some of them? Yeah. So? How about interests? Reading? Sports? What's your point? That you are not just a pedophile. There is more to you than that. And I understand that you have been challenged by your thoughts your entire life, but you have overcome them. Maybe this cancer is just another challenge, something that you can overcome as well, so you can get back to all of the parts of your life that you do like. Doctor, I have an itch. Every second of every day, to scratch it would feel so good, but I don't, ever. Not scratching that itch is the worst hell that I can imagine. And cancer is gonna get me out of that hell. It is another challenge. Cancer is my reward. His obstruction must be eroding into the mucosa, hang two units. Vic, you're losing too much blood. I need to cauterize the vessels. No, you don't. Hey, I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. Hanging the blood. Give me a cautery. There's one in trauma three. Go on. 